Hi, my name is Daniel Schrader, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to improve the performance of the DD command. Uh, DD is a very useful uh, and versatile uh, tool that copies files uh, at the block level of the disk. So it's not concerned about file systems or anything like that. It simply copies data uh, from one block to another block. Now what I'm going to show you in this video is how to improve the performance of DD uh, by reducing the amount of time that it takes to execute. Now I'm logged into my Linux server and I have two disks in the server and they're configured in a uh, Linux software RAID 1 configuration. Now in another video I plan to do a tutorial on the multiple devices driver in the Linux kernel but that's out of the scope of this video. We're focusing on DD. But I need to make sure that my, uh, my meta device mirror is split. So I'm going to double check that using the MDADM command. And the meta device <coughs> MD6 has this SDA8 partition underneath it. It's active. But we're missing the SDB8 partition it's been removed. Now this is what we want for this test. So now we're going to perform a DD copy. I'm going to use the time command which is going to measure the amount of time it takes for the command to complete. DD, the input file which is slash dev slash SDA8, the output file slash dev slash SDB8. Now we're going to find out how long it takes <coughs> DD to copy the data from partition 8 of the disk SDA to partition 8 of the disk SDB. Okay, so we see that DD uh, took 2 minutes and 28 seconds to copy the data uh, between the disks. Now, <clears throat> to reduce the time that it takes for DD to copy the data, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the block size to 1 megabyte. Now in GNU DD, you can specify this capital M for megabytes, but when I worked on Solaris and AIX servers, the DD command did not allow uh, the, the capital M uh, specifier to be there, so I'd actually have to put the block size uh, in terms of bytes. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I need to calculate <coughs> the number of bytes in a megabyte, which is 1,024 bytes times 1,024 bytes. And so one megabyte is this many bytes. Okay, so we see that it took DD only 27 seconds uh, to copy the data between the disks with a 1 megabyte block size. Now the, re <clears throat> the reason it took 2 minutes 28 seconds before was because DD was using the default block size of 512 bytes. So <clears throat> while the differences here aren't very significant, the reason is, is because we only copied 10 gigabytes of data. If we copied 500 gigabytes, 1 terabyte, or multiple terabytes of data, between disk partitions or disks, we would see a much more significant gain in performance or a significant reduction in time that it would take DD to copy all of the data. <clears throat> so remember, in order to reduce the time it takes for DD to copy data, start with a block size of one megabyte. <clears throat> 